socialites gather at Cafe Vermilionville for an art auction on Tuesday night to kick off Festival International de Louisiane. The top prize was Passion en Bleu, a trilogy sculpture by renowned artist Fred O. Daspit. Fred's name kept coming up these last few years as we really should be trying to get you know him to do something with us and um, sure enough this year was the year and we were like we weren't going to take no for an answer and of course he didn't say no. Each year festival selects one piece of art which is transformed into a signature pin and poster. The former UL art history professor has been surprised by all the recent attention and recognition. I mean every time I turn around now uh, there's another interview another the compliments that people have made about these people. You don't feel as though you deserve it by any means. <laughs> His inspiration for his sculptures comes from many places. Like I'm 82 years of age and over the years there have been so many books, so many visits to museums, so many students, so many friends, that they all seem to fuse. But the interest, of course, as I've said so many times, uh, Aztec, Maya, the Near East, uh, India, Indonesia, the top bidder of the night, Sharon Moss, knew she had to have a piece of the trilogy the moment she laid eyes on it. I'm Lebanese and I love the ethnic style. To me it's like ethnic looking and I also love aqua. It's the colors that I've loved my whole life. I wear a lot of that and my house is filled with it. So I was like just overcome. When I saw it I knew that I really wanted it. The trilogy was sold for $8,800. All monies raised at the auction go towards helping festival remain a free event for the public. Reporting for TheAdvertiser.com, I'm Ashley Gilmer.